Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Virtual Horseman Display Team. We are really happy to be here today to present you this mighty demonstration of the 3 P51 Mustang D. I'm not alone, I'm with my friend Kiwe for this narration. Hello Kiwe, what Hello doing? again, Tango. So today we're going to see the demonstration that is legendary since years in VFAT. Flying from the British guys uh, Rob, P-Man and Kestrel, the Virtual Horseman. So Kiwi, you are more familiar with them than me because you come and narrate this display since a couple of years now. So what you can tell about the horseman? What is the, the success, the key word about them? Tight, precision, friendship, admiration, superlative. I can uh, add a lot of uh, adjectives to, to, think, uh, to say what I think about that team. Uh, they know, because I talk a lot to them, they know they are special in my heart. And uh, this is one of my favorite displays because uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, displays that were made in uh, IL-2 Stiermovic back in time. So this will be intense and they are already coming from your right to perform the first maneuver of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your virtual horseman. Here they go for the loop, so what's happening in the loop tango when you're in P51? So I think knowing Rob a lot, uh, making a loop in a P51 is actually very complicated, more complicated than doing it with a jet, because you have to use all the axes of his plane. Normally in a jet you just pull the stick back to you and uh, just increase the G's. There we have to use the, he had to use, they had to use the rudder at the top of the loop to keep the nose of the plane straight. And Rob, like he's the one of, they are the top pilots uh, of the Robert in this year. This guy knows every single time I have a question, when we have a question about the P50, about a Robert aircraft, we go directly toward them because they are just like a huge database of information and it's good to sharing the passion that, and the speaking about the, the Robert aircraft with so much passion of love that we only listen to them, that they are amazing. So today they are flying our, the virtual horsemen are flying uh, Several planes, I saw a demonstration once uh, with a P-40, a demonstration once with a F-86 Sab, uh, which was uh, incredible. But today they are flying the P-51. Um, let's make a little bit of history what the P-51. Uh, the P-51 program was developed during the whole World War II. That's why we know several versions of these planes. Sometimes they can be very different from one to another. We need to keep in mind that back in time it took seven years to imagine this and create and this engine. Yes, between the first idea and the first flight of a plane with a new engine, seven years were, go were gone. That's enormous, Tango. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, an impressive aircraft. I'm not common with uh, Warbler aircraft because it's something that I, I, I love seeing them, hearing the, the music of the engine and stuff. But I'm, I'm more in a modern guy, you know, and watching the horseman bring me this little touch in the hair that, I mean, I want to say, in Switzerland, uh, here we not see a lot of Mustangs flying. You know, it's a very uncommon aircraft. I mean, in UK and stuff with the flying uh, legends, flying legends, those kind of association having planes like that, it's amazing because it brings a large panel of uh, aircraft. Yeah, in France we start to have that with the Merlin Air Legend. Uh, this was the first year this year in uh, September 2018. So to see warbirds, it's the best thing. So. You told something about uh, the nose of the engine, but can you tell us the name of the engine? I think it's a Merlin, right? If yeah, Rolls-Royce Merlin. So, a family of famous engines designed by in the 30s by Rolls-Royce. Regarding the reliability of this water, many films decided to give power to their warbirds with that incredible power maker. That's why we also find a Rolls-Royce Merlin on planes like the Hawker Hurricane or the Supermarine Spitfire. With its incredible V-shape and its 12 cylinders, it gives the plane no less than 1,200 horsepower, which is absolutely enormous for a warbird. This power allows the P-51 to go to a speed up to 700 km per hour and to be an efficient at high and low altitude. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, this plane is like, uh, have so much horsepower and so much resource. That's a really incredible plane. And Continuing narrating this, I have a fun fact for you because I see a lot of uh, in the chat a lot of uh, question about why third aircraft. So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the leader Rob Ridley Rock yesterday evening he was playing with band in Ishan near uh, near London. Then Kestrel and Piman goes to the the gig they did, and now they are all three there for flying. So, from guitar to flying, I mean, Rob is there and always sharing patience. Exactly, I mean. 
that's a, that's a very impressive guy and with a huge huge uh, back background in uh, simulation from EL2 as you know uh, you say and uh, DCS and wow I mean seeing them flying just pure pure emotion and love today. Uh, I noticed an information someone is we were talking about the F86 used by the virtual horseman someone is telling uh, next year there will be a F86 sabre in French air shows of course uh, Mr. Frédéric Akari is a uh, Currently importing a F-86 Sabre from Mistral Warbird, so if you want information in France, a little, a little bit of advertising, if you want some information of the F-86 coming in French, go on MistralWarbirds.com, just for some advertising. At the top of a loop, and at the top of a loop with the Warbird, has, you have uh, an engine with it, which is just not a jet. What have you got to, to do uh, with your hands and foot? So basically it's complicated. Flying a propeller aircraft is always challenging because you have the propeller effect. So basically if your propeller rotate to the left, your plane will be engaged to the left because of the force of the propeller. And it's the same if the propeller turns to the right, your plane will turn to the right. So you have to always trim or compensate with your joystick and stuff. And I know that, that Rob spent hours to fly and they, both of them are doing a lot of training to be sure they are in total in the same line to flying, in the same line to pull and when they are in those order they know exactly what they need to do. I mean flying warbirds it's really complicated because it's a it's a man plane, you know, it's nothing electronics, it's all we fly like uh, like champions. Like, yeah, like champions exactly. <laughs> For those who want to make a lot of points on the Scrabble table game, uh, this is called the gyroscopy effect. Yeah, thank you. Always a science bitch. Yes. So now they are coming back. Uh, this, uh, from your right at high speed, what's the speed at the enter of the loop uh, like this? I'm, you know, I like to be a Swiss guy and uh, only kilometers an hour, so I have no idea because I think they fly by miles per hour. Yes, that might be something like 300 miles per hour, I think, at the end of the loop. And still, uh, the position uh, keeping is incredible, uh, the synchronization is incredible too. Uh, those guys also work a lot uh, with the real horsemen. Yeah. They have a lot of contacts. When the real horsemen uh, discovered that uh, there was some guy that was uh, crazy enough to perform that kind of display on the simulator, they were really, really enjoyed because uh, this is always sharing patience, uh, so they have a lot of contacts. I saw yesterday, I uh, know, not yesterday, last week, ten, uh, Rock uh, saw me, uh, uh, show me a few things about um, some screens he received, uh, some pictures, dedicate, etc. Uh, etc. Et there is really a good partnership, and uh, that's always a good, um, how to think, how to say it, uh, that's a good thank you for, from the, the real yeah, horse exactly, yeah. And I mean, what I like a lot with the horseman display, it's not like a... For me it's more like a ballet, you know, like a, like a dance. It's not an, an aggressive display with breaks everywhere, with, uh, with uh, cross uh, crossing and stuff. To say, now for example, this, uh, this pass... Dedication like pass at its finest. Yeah, it's like, it's a ballet, you know, like uh, with... Uh, it's really nice to see that the formation is really stable, the, the, the handle of the plane is amazing, and it's not like... It's it just amazing, and I'm not sure that they are being the music. Uh, actually, for fun fact, uh, the music of the Horseman, the official uh, soundtrack, was made by a famous uh, composer that sadly died a couple of years ago. Passed away a couple yeah. of years ago. Yeah. And uh, this, so having a, a display with a dedicated soundtrack is amazing because it's made for the display. It's not you pick something on the uh, on your database and, and do it. And uh, wow, that's uh, just a wombo combo. Like everything goes good. I think they are um, doing a great honor to the real horsemen by flying there because uh, most of their shows happen in summer. I mean, we are in winter, so in summer you can watch real hair shows. In winter you can watch virtual hair shows, and sometimes you can find here on the same routines. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a good thing. So hair show years, all the years. <laughs> They love to pull in verticals for doing clover loop and so on. It's and that's a most difficult maneuver actually in the plane, and they are doing it a lot of time. So I really love the, the paint shame of the plane. So it's wow, 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 wow. and uh, the team is amazing. Yeah, but the team is really amazing. In my head, I can't uh, stop having the voice of a rock saying, "No problem, buddy." <laughs> yeah, every time you ask him a question. Break. Now I think they will enter in a. 
little solo section, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is not solo section in, uh, in the, oh, maybe, yes. You uh, know, when they come, they do some dedication page, each, each of them, like 4.0. No, actually, I, I have the paper with the routine, but yeah. uh, guess uh, where it is, uh, where it is, because I lost him. So, you know what? This will be some improvisation between we, you and I, Tango. Yeah. Uh, for that, uh, we are seeing currently one plane coming from the left, performing a high radio turn in order to come back from the left for a pass. And there we have one plane coming down as well to perform some maneuver. They are amazing. And I can't wait to... And I, I love the, the British guys because uh, the accent is amazing. So there we go, what I was talking about, four point roll. Two. Uh, oh, Three. See, I remember the display correctly, you see? Now Four. normally that will be the, the there we go the second one. Oh, this is an eight point roll this time. Yes. Nicely done, really precise piloting. You see that the, the P51 are actually uh, a very high uh, roll rate, I mean, but the, the roll it's uh, it's very dynamic, I mean, yeah, that's uh, impressive. So this time from your left, the sound of freedom. And I think ladies and gentlemen that was the way to salute us, to thank you in the chat for watching the demonstration, the last show of the season. Now they will establish landing configuration with the Mustang to come back safely to the ground. Yeah, so now they are going to land their planes and uh, while they are in its final approach, I'd like to say two things. Uh, once again, happy birthday, Kestro. Uh, actually, you gave, it, you gave us a gift uh, with that demonstration. So thank you and uh, enjoy your birthday, uh, enjoy your flight with Virtual Patrol Suisse. The second bo point I wanted to make is uh, welcome back, Hawk. Yes. Welcome back. Hey, it's been a long time and uh, it's nice to have him back in the in a cockpit. Yes, of course. Because I mean that's the, his first love and I mean he's a passionate guy, so I think it was missing. He missed this a lot, so that's yeah. really. He started nice. to feel uprooted. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's good to see him back in the in a cockpit because I mean I know him since years now. He was part of IFAD staff. Uh, he's still in the background doing stuff and he can help us at every time. And uh, having him here around is a very it's a good news for us. A yes. Good news for the community to have a three ship display of the horseman. And uh, yes, I mean everything goes well. And you can see those guys know to fly a P-51 because when they land, it's not like me. Yeah, th this is more precise and more professional, I'll say. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I've struggled to take off already, so landing the plane is not even imaginable. They are, they are just so great and look looks so graceful is this plane approaching over this front of this forest to go safely on the ground. This is really specific to fly with. Yeah. You, you can fly a jet and switch to a jet to another one, but when you switch to a warbird to perform a three sheet display in a virtual air show, this is way far different. Uh, this is really different in the you have to work a lot. You have to lo work a lot. So give it up. Give us uh, your impressions on the chat about this flight demonstration. We are really lucky to have uh, this as a three ship display because until two weeks now it was a uh, it was designed as a two ship display. So I'm really happy to see a three ship display and I feel lucky today. Uh, lucky to. Lucky to have those guys, lucky to have you Tango, lucky yeah. to be part of the VFAT staff, uh, it's only happiness, only happiness. So, uh, now taxiing back with the open canopy, well, of course it's uh, warm into the cockpit. And they go inside the group of trucks. Yeah, maybe, oh, oh. that's... For those about to rock, we salute you as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love ACDC, of course. Uh, really nice. Look at that. I'm sure uh, they want to salute you from the other side of the cockpit. Uh, they did this show for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's read a little bit of the chat. Uh, nice flight, guys. 
Anyhow, nice flying, gents. Well done. The H, even landing is awesome. Yes, even landing, but part of the, the show today because uh, this is so tricky to land. Perfect demonstration, GG guys. Absolute, absolute, no, fantastic. Bravo. I don't know what it means. Congratulations on the show, guys. Fantastic. Uh, perfect, perfect. Brilliant. Amazing show. Many thanks to these British guys who fly this beautiful with such grace. Uh, very nice. It's on the screen engine shutting down, <laughs> but saying that some, some trolls on the chat are, are, are asking for flares to conclude the display. Flares on the P51, of course, logical. Uh, is this with the sound mode? Um, as a matter of fact, I haven't got the slightest idea. I won't answer you. I'm sorry, bro. Please, Rock, stay with the VH for Burning Lake. Uh, so please, Rock, stay with VH for Burning Lake. Welcome back here on the desk. Uh, Welcome back. So, that was intense. Man that uh, I'm really happy to have three, both of them here because it was supposed to be a two ship demonstration and it turned into a three ship demonstration. It's amazing. It's a great news and yeah, you know what a great way to open the Sunday having a three Mustangs. Of course, uh, Horseman with a two ship display is like a cake without a cherry. Or something is missing. Yes, exactly. But they show us that they are still able to fly even after. A long break, and what they did, it's amazing. That's the thing that you're a professional, I'd say. Yes, exactly. That's, they know exactly what to do. They know 